In the school year of 1968, 1969, an all-black high school in Columbus, Ohio, opened its doors. Several months after Martin Luther King Jr. had been assassinated, the school principal, Jack Gibbs, who was the first black principal there, said the whole city is watching us because we are the only black, all black high school in the city. Jack Gibbs told the students he wanted them to do something special that year. He wasn't talking about sports, he was talking about academics. He wanted more students to go to college in the class of 1968, then in the class, in the class of 1969, and then in the class of 1968. And, but the athletes did something special. They won the state basketball championship in March of that year. Then eight weeks later, they won the state baseball championship. It had never been done in the history of the state, nor has it ever been accomplished again. Two state championships up under a whole lot of stress and strain and racial strife. I'm not the guy that's going to write the 388th book on Thomas Jefferson. Uh, you know, and that's, you know, and that's, you know, that's just not where I'm at. You know, but if I can find a man who worked in the White House for eight presidents and nobody's ever written about him, uh, now we're talking. You know, that's a Will Haygood story right there. Here's this high school, this high school, all black high school. I was literally waiting 10 years, 15 years, then 20 years, then 30 years for somebody to fly into my hometown, some big name writer to fly into my hometown and write that story. And so they didn't. And so I said to myself, well, Will, you're up. <laughs> Sometimes, and I'm down south on stories, and I'll be on a highway, and I'll see a sign that says, Smithfield High School, second place runner up, state tournament 1991. Second place, and they got a marker on the highway. <laughs> and so the mayor of my hometown, uh, Mayor Ginther, had met with me four months before the book came out. And he said, Will, is there anything that you might want to tell me that might make this soiree that we're getting ready to have for you in the fall slightly better. And I said, well, Mayor, here these guys won two state championships. There's no marker in the city or on the uh, state highway if they had been white athletes, they might have been on a box of Wheaties. But there was nothing for them, nothing. And there was a big event in my hometown. And there was something on the stage, and it was covered. And it was a piece of cloth. And Mayor Ginther pulled it off. Truth and reconciliation. It was a street sign. The street on the side of East High School now is known as Tigerland Way. Yeah. 
those players were there and they were sitting in the front row and they all cried. 50 years later, Tigerland Way. <laughs> 